Now we have a complete and fresh Linux machine prepared to take its designated tasks. Let's check the LSB, Linux standard base, and distribution information. Just issue the command lsb underscore release minus a. In my case, it's about the trusty codename release. With this noted, let's go to the Open Monitoring Distribution website download page and look for the latest version of the codename trusty for 64-bit operating system because we are running a 64-bit OS. Why we need this codename? To be sure that all packages that OMD needs are already there and also their dependencies. The build will set up easily this way without you to have many interventions in the setup process. Issue the su command so you can get root rights to your terminal session. Use the password you used to log in. Then issue the wget command with the package download URL copied from the browser. Do not rush pressing the enter key on the keyboard as I did and issue the wget without the URL option. The wget command is actually the command used to download files from web servers. Without any additional commands, it will download into the folder you are at the moment. After the download is finished, we can install it. It's a DEB package, a Debian kind install package. The command to install it's dpkg minus i and the name of the file. Because it's still not doing everything automatically fine, we'll need some small interventions to force the installation of the dependencies needed. For this, you should do up the get minus f install. You'll get a lot of packages, even the MySQL server that needs your intervention to set the root password for it. I'll leave blank for now, but in a productive environment, I don't recommend you do the same. After everything is done, I issue once the forced install of the dependencies and there isn't any more to go. This means we are set to go to the next step. Create a new OMD instance with the OMD create command. You'll need to enter a name for it and I will use the monitor for the instance name. Next step is to start it with the command OMD start and the chosen name, in my case monitor. So OMD start monitor. <laughs> 